Glenn from Glenn'sCarCollection.com, and today we're talking about one of my favorite brands, BMW, and the specs of the new 2021 4 Series. BMW just released the specs, and I'm going to bring them to you right now. So in this video, we're going to go over the specs, we're going to go over what's different, we're going to go over suspensions, we're going to go over hybrid systems, we're going to go over engines, horsepower, 0 to 60 times, and when this car is going to be available and what the starting MSRP is. So remember, if you like these kind of videos, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. We post at least three videos a week, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. And a lot of times I also give you videos on Tuesday and Thursdays just because. Remember to like and share this video so our channel can grow. And leave your thoughts on the new 4 Series in, in a positive comment below. All right, so the new 4 Series is going to make its global debut in October. Now, a lot of this car and a lot of the specs are going to be the same as the new 3 Series, which came out in the 2020 model year here in the United States. So I have a full review of the M340 iX Drive and also of the BMW 330. You can find both of those reviews on this channel. I'll link them at the end of the video. So whatever we don't cover here will be covered there. So let's dive into the 4 Series. Well, it's going to come with two engines. Remember, there's not an M4 yet, so this is a new 4 Series. The base 430 is going to have a two-cylinder turbocharged engine producing 225 horsepower, 294 foot-pounds of torque. Now, I've driven the, the 330, and that 294 is significant. You'll definitely feel the torque on this car. That'll give you a 0 to 60 time of about 5.5 seconds. Now, if you go to the higher model, the M440, you're going to get a 3-liter turbocharged six-cylinder producing 382 horsepower and 364 foot-pounds of torque. That's going to drop your 0 to 60 time about 4.3 seconds. You can add all-wheel drive to either one of these cars, and then that adds uh, drops the 0 to 60 about 2 tenths of a second further. And we've already seen like car and driver and motor trend with the M340i X drive gets 0 to 60 times of about 3.9 seconds. And I would assume the same here with the M440. Now, you do have that ugly grill, so comment below what you think of that front grille. Thank God they didn't put in the 3 Series, but it is here in the 4 Series, so I'm not really sure what I think about this. Now, as far as weight, weight, of course, the car got bigger and longer, and so the weight got a little heavier. This car weighs anywhere from 3,600 pounds to just under 4,000 pounds, depending on options. It's actually, like I said, grown in length. It's now 188 inches long. Well, how long is that, just relatively? Well, first of all, it's 5.2 inches longer than the first generation 4 Series, and it's 2.2 inches longer than the current 3 Series. Now, it's actually lower, not only is it longer, but it's lower, so it's 2.2 inches lower than the previous 4 Series. Now, to put that in perspective, the 188 inches in length, my E46 M3 is 175 inches long, my M2 is 176 inches long, so it's about 13 inches, so over a foot longer than those cars. Now, the car can come in uh, rear or all-wheel drive, all-wheel drive is about a $2,000 option in the new 3 Series, so I assume it'd be the same here. Unfortunately, just like the 3 Series, they've dropped the manual transmission, and it's only available with an 8-speed automatic, torque converter automatic. Now, in the 340 and 330 is a very good transmission. When you see my reviews, I, I go in-depth on the transmission, so you can uh, I won't go into it here, but actually for an automatic, it's very, very good. The ships are cr crisp, and uh, it does really well with acceleration and also with gas mileage. Now, if you get the M440 iX drive, you get a standard M Sport differential. Now, that works in uh, conjunction with the uh, dynamic stability control to reduce understeer. And as car enthusiasts, we all hate understeer. Now, the M440i X drive will also get a standard 48 volt mild hybrid system. So that's going to come standard with a 48 volt starter generator and a separate 48 volt battery. Now, that's going to give you energy recuperation for use while driving. So, of course, the regeneration happens under braking and from excess electricity produced in sport mode. Now, that can increase performance up to 11 horsepower under hard acceleration by producing power for electricals and cutting parasitic losses. And the system can shut down the engine under braking at speeds below 9 miles per hour. So, for the 4 Series Coupe, they're making a little more of a sports car than the 3 Series. So, we'll have a stiffer body structure and a stiffer suspension. It's also going to have a wider rear track center of gravity will drop 0.9 inches, and that's supposed to, according to BMW, give a significantly sharper handling car than before. Now, it's also going to have a 0.4 inch lower ride height, 0.3 inches for X-Drive models, and compared to the 3 Series, it's going to have a stiffer ride, but better handling. 
Now, if you get the optional M Sport suspension, which is going to be standard on the M440i X-Drive Coupe, that's going to firm up the springs, bushing and mount, anti-roll bars, and adds greater negative wheel camber. As a former autocrosser, as a current autocrosser, I love negative camber. Now, if you want to go for the optional adaptive end suspension, you're going to get electronic shocks, and that's going to provide a distinct difference between comfort and sports mode. Now, can this BMW drive itself? Well, if you get the optional driving assistance professional package, that is a level two autonomous system. So that'll give you active cruise control with stop and go, and extended traffic jam assist, which is actually extended hands-free vehicle operation. Now, if you get the optional parking assistance package, that gives you 3D surround cameras with a panoramic view, and that helps you, of course, parallel park and perpendicular parking spots. You can also get the backup assistance, and that records the last 50 yards at speeds less than 20 miles an hour, so that you're in a tight parking space, in a tight garage, it'll actually back you out of your parking space for you. You don't even have to touch the wheel. How much is all, this all gonna cost? And again, we don't even have the hotter M4 yet, but the base BMW 430i Coupe is gonna start at 48,595. Figure all-wheel drive in the new three series has 2,000 bucks, so I would assume the same here. But the car you really want, if you can afford it, if you can swing it, is the M440i X-Drive Coupe, and that should come in at 59495 Now, this is going to come out in October, probably see an M4 next year, hopefully, and probably at some point an M4 CS, and uh, this car is going to be a blast to drive. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think about the specs. Is it worth the money? What other options would you like to see on the car? How you configure your car? And then I also want to know what you think of the looks, what you think of the grill. I actually like the side and the rear of the car. I like everything in the interior. I love everything about the car except the front. And I guess even though we're seeing it in pictures now and uh, there'll be videos out, I'm still not going to be convinced until I see it in person. I'm not crazy on the grill, though I love the grill on the new 3 Series, which is, of course, a lot smaller. And uh, I think we'll have to wait and see. But right now, I'm not convinced on the grill. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.